Election day is six days away, and both gubernatorial candidates are talking to political reporter Andy Fox. Andy just interviewed Republican Ed Gillespie, and he is about to interview Democrat Lieutenant Governor Ralph Northam. Andy joins us now from the newsroom. And Andy, your interview with Mr. Gillespie got a little heated at times. Don and Katie, it sure did, especially when asking him about his commercial that says Ralph Northam called restoring the rights to unrepentant sex offenders one of his greatest feats. Northam calls that ad despicable in a counter ad. He does support restoring the rights of felons once they have done their time and are off parole, but not specifically specifically knowingly to unrepentant sex offenders. I bring that up because that's part of the nuance of this campaign. We talked about the campaign commercials. One against Gillespie is so awful, it had to be pulled off air. It's so harsh. We talked about sanctuary cities, one of the big issues in this campaign. The recent polls would show what could be a very tight race. Talked about that. A Washington Post poll shows Gillespie has really bit into Northam's lead. He also spoke about how he wants ODU to become more than what it is right now. I think uh, Old Dominion University needs to be in our east what Virginia Tech is in our west, a major research institution that is uh, driving innovation and, and uh, spinoffs uh, here in this area. So I've got a plan that would make Hampton Roads an economic driver for the entire Commonwealth, which is what it should be. I also asked him, will Donald Trump, President Donald Trump, campaign with him here in Virginia? You know, Donald Trump has very low approval ratings in Virginia. Will Ed Gillespie bring Donald Trump to Virginia to campaign for him? Once again, he's not answering that question. I'm set to interview Ralph Northam at 1, and we will have our interview with both candidates beginning at 4. Don and Katie, it was a very interesting exchange. I look forward to reporting it later on this afternoon. In the newsroom, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.